Okay, uh, so here we are. Um, haven't been on uh, on this side for a while on uh, Epic Seven here. The last few videos have been uh, Fire Emblem, but uh, here we are. Uh, finally, uh, Araminth is here, and um, well, I've wanted her for quite a while myself. Of course, not <laughs> nowhere near as much as Mango. Uh, I'm glad he finally got it. For those of you who saw that video, uh, got her for those who saw, who saw that video. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have. <laughs> uh, the, the money to whale on my own or nor do I have uh, <laughs> the following to whale not that I not that I'm ungrateful or, or I want that anyway um, but we're gonna pull for her uh, hopefully I get her I really do want her um, yeah I mean there's not much to say she's uh, she's one of the characters I've wanted since you know for a long time uh, I have regular Amintha I got her from my selective summons um, and then I pulled for like a duplicate just to imprint her just to have her there uh, of course regular Amintha is not very good um but you know Sarah here is infinitely better um yeah there's not much else to say I mean I guess I could go over the kid or something like that if you guys would want but I don't really think let's see where are we oh no it doesn't help either oh there we go um yeah I mean she just burns right stun this is a guaranteed stun into a, a 50 50 burn for two burns um, the third burn is here. She used to have three burns here, and then they nerfed her, and we so they put the third burn on here. It's actually a little bit better. It's still not as good. Uh, I think, I, I, you know, I don't want to go into like balancing or, or what they could change, but yeah, she's already very strong as it is. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not much else to say. She gets a she gets guaranteed stun. Uh, it's kind of hard to deal with that, obviously, but uh, it's also very hard to build her. Um, she just needs high effectiveness and high speed, but if she doesn't, if she misses like one stun, you're basically screwed. Um, and you know she gets outsped by a lot of people, so it's not really that big a deal. And then she has to be paired with a, a cleanser of some form. So there's that. You basically run on Abyssal Crown too uh, to increase the the stun chance. Uh, not only that, but also using this gets you a chance to stun somebody on the burn uh, on the S1, and then if she triggers the burn, she gets the S2 off. Which then does AOE again to burn everybody. Yeah, to burn everybody for one. And, you know, there's the combat readiness increase. So basically kind of makes her sneakily faster. Uh, and then on top of the fact that, like, because that's AOE, that's another chance to proc uh, Abyssal Crown for another stun. Um, so yeah, basically she's just very strong. Um, you kind of need the gear to be able to use her. The, her imprint's not as good. I mean, it's all right. It's just not as good. Because, like, she gains off of attack percent, which is great. Uh, for her burns to scale but it's not really useful because again while like her most devastating thing is the ability to stun people the burns are an extra on top of that which you know can be very powerful considering burns penetrate uh, defense quite a bit uh, but basically it just means you don't have to worry about crit chance and crit damage because the burns have you covered uh, my emulator has been or not my emulator yeah the emulator itself has been kind of crashing here and there um, I've lost a few guild wars uh, from crashes so hopefully we can get through this uh, no big deal uh, I like this rotation. The next rotation is not actually that good. I don't really need Uberge Tooth because I don't have anybody. I have way too many Kawazas, and none of these really matter. I have way too many Surins. I've I still need a Kitty Clarissa, um, and you know I already have too many copies of regular Clarissa. I have way too many copies of her. Too many copies of these artifacts, uh, and then Elena. I already have two copies of Elena, which I really don't like. I don't really want her to begin with. Uh, but I have no shoe because I skipped over shoe the first time she came out, and I didn't. I don't regret. It. I didn't regret it, and I still don't regret it because I, you know, there's no reason to use shoe. But it's nice to have her, and I have, I have the opportunity to possibly pull her off of this while I'm pulling Firemintha. I mean, that's the best case scenario there. Um, so that's pretty cool. Bastion of Perlusha is obviously a great artifact. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I use this on my what's his name? Just know his name. Uh, the the knight T Crozet trousers. Um, so Trousers has this, and he I pair him up with Arby on defense, on a Guild War defense, so that uh, Arby goes first, Trousers pushes push him up by 40%, uh, and he's got immunity, and he's got a shield, so he's hard to kill for two turns. Yeah, the, 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 the shield is two turns. Uh, and then once they get past the shield, uh, it's all hunky-dory from there, because then, um, what's his name? His passive takes over, um, Trousers' passive, so that's a 40% redirection, which is just great. Uh, so yeah, I mean, that's basically it. I mean, you know, Bastion of Perlusha, all this stuff is, is good, it's perfect, except for Kitty Clarissa, who I have way too many copies of. I have like a triple S her and a triple S regular, <laughs> so uh, I don't know what to do with these. But yeah, let's get in there. Uh, I could just do this, we're obviously uh, at 
restarted pity and we only have 3,000. We'll see how this goes. I was going to wait to do the um, the abyss so that I could get the 500 from there. Oh, actually, I have to go. I'm about to pause this real quick. Um, I wanted to wait to do the abyss to get the bookmarks from there, but um, unfortunately, I like I'm just tired of doing abyss and it's really annoying. Uh, so I'm just going to. I'll get those eventually, hopefully, and, and pull those then, but I really want to see if I can get her now. Um, I'm a little impatient because I really want her. Um, but other than that, hold on, I have to go uh, fill up my inventory and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Um, so yeah, let's get back into that. Uh, yeah, so like I said, I, I was going to do the Abyss stuff to get the 500 bookmarks from there, but uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I really don't want to go back in there and deal with that because uh, the new Abyss is just really bad. Um, in terms of balancing, I mean, you know, I'm no stranger to complaining. I mean, I'll complain about all kinds of stuff all the time, right? Um, but in terms of balancing, like the newer abyss floors, and, and it was kind of, it was already feeling that way with the, uh, the, the, the last 10 abyss floors, I think 90 to a hundred. Uh, but now with these ones, it's like really hardcore where it's like, it's just annoying to play them primarily because like. You're not being tested on how well you like the stuff the things that make you good at the game at epic 7 are not being tested here so much um which is a lot of like how well you geared your heroes and and how well you've been farming and, and keeping up with the power curve there is no like gear you can overpower curve a lot of this stuff i mean maybe eventually <laughs> years from now but there's really no overpowering this with your diligence in farming so those of you who've been doing what this game demands of you which is farming and and enhancing gear the way you should you know properly investing into gear and stuff like that it's all thrown out the window in favor of kind of like how how proficient are you at just cheesing stuff um because i mean if you look online i mean they've all been that way right i mean you can always you can always cheese the floors but you could do them without cheesing them before I mean, relatively simply, I think we all could. Um, but now with these ones, it's like the dom, like the cheese strategy, seems almost like the only way to do it. And I guess maybe maybe that's my bias. Maybe it's like everyone has felt that way. Maybe they've all been that way, right? Like maybe I'm just you know because I can't maybe because I can't do these, I'm feeling that way more than normal, right? But maybe they, that feeling has per has been pervasive since the beginning, um, since they added the last ten floors. Um, but yeah, it just feels like, I don't know, like the fact that like we have to lean more and more on Kyrus and like just, um, poisoning people and all that stuff. Like it just feels very cheesy. Like, is this, was this the, like, was this what they wanted? Like when you went in there, was it like they wanted you to just straight up poison everything to death? Like, I don't know. Uh, I kind of doubt it, but you know, I don't know. Uh, we, we skipped past there. We got a, uh, Bastion of Perlucia, so that's pretty cool. Uh, like I said, I could use more of those. Um, the, the thing it increases with more limit breaks is going to be the shield size, which is pretty good. Um, the, the idea is to have... So they're probably going to go first, right? Usually that's what you want is to go first against an Arbiter Vildred and then like execute them in some way. So you bring your Lilibets, your Cigarettes, your whatever you want to bring, right? Um, the idea is that they'll waste the resources to like try to kill them. But with a with a barrier, the, with a barrier of the size that it is, coupled with the fact that um, forty percent of that damage is being redirected onto uh, onto what's his name uh, trousers is like it should make it almost impossible for him to die on turn one to some anti reviver, right? So if he can't just go in there and one shot him and execute him, then he gets his S three off, right? Uh, that coupled with the fact that um, he gets his S3 off and then Trousers takes his turn and then gives him a 40% boost, which means that Arbiter's turn is going to come up even faster. So he's going to get at least one S3 off, at least uh, one S1 off, and then hopefully maybe at that point you're basically winning. You got gains at that point, right? Because the next thing is either uh, they're going to kill him. And they probably already burned their execution trying to. And if they haven't, then that's all right. Because, you know, like I said, you've already gotten your S2 off. Uh, so they're going to try to burn. They're going to try to kill him then. Later. Oop, let's see what we get here. Come on, please. <laughs> I don't have enough. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it. There we go. Finally. 
We're not getting jobbed on uh, Mystic Rotation. Araminta. Nice. So there we go. Uh, we got exactly what we came for. Uh, funnily enough, uh, I also the, the new Adventurer's Path set. Well, anyway, we'll get back to what I'm saying. Um, he'll get theoretically, right? Theoretically, he'll get his S three off, get boosted, and then get his S one off. Then they'll either kill him and not execute him because maybe they burned it trying to like, oh, maybe we can we can push past that and try to execute him. If they're smart, they'll save it and just kind of hit him and wait to whittle it down, and then do it. But by then, hopefully, you've killed whatever executor they have, you know, in place, right? So the idea is S uh, S three S one, then. Uh, they kill him, and then he gets another S3 off, right? And there you go. That's basically, I mean, that should kind of wipe anybody almost. Um, and then on top of that, the other thing is I run uh, Lilius with them. So hopefully Lilius is enough of a distraction to where her S3 goes off, deals a, a decent amount of damage, because Arbiter should have a decent amount of attack, right? About 4,000. Uh, mine has, like, close to that, 38 or something like that. Yeah, 38. With imprints or whatever, you'll have 4,000 eventually. So she hits the S3 and then does a decent amount of damage because a lot of times you bring in squishies. Now, if they want to tank through it, that's all right. Hopefully we can um, we have enough damage to beat whatever tanks they have, but who knows. Um, but the, the idea with that is if they have tanks, they're going to be slow, and we can kind of outspeed them using, you know, trousers. The fact that my, um, my RB is about 220 speed. I want to get him up to a 240 speed with the same stats he has now, about 300 crit damage and... Um, 4,000 attack. I mean, that's a little out of my gear range right now, but hopefully that's that's kind of the end goal. It's 240 speed. Uh, and then just have him hitting people constantly. Not only is he hitting people with his S1 because he's fast, uh, he's also getting CR boosted by Trousers every so often, who's 220 right now. Hopefully I can get him faster. Who's 220 right now, getting CR boosted from the S3. And then on top of that, you have to deal with the fact that Lilius is running around S1-ing people kind of 50-50. You're either bringing Trousers or you're bringing... Um, uh, Arbiter, and if you bring Arbiter, well, that's a whole lot more damage, right? So that's kind of the idea: is 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 basically let Arbiter kind of handle most of the damage, which he he should be doing already, and then you know bring in some support. Um, but yeah. Anyway, back to this. Uh, this is gonna be awesome. Uh, I recently built my Cerise. She's a little slow right now, unfortunately. She's only she's only um, she's only two sixty eight. Two sixty eight, working on. With with some with some gear refines, I can put her up to 280. Yeah, I can put her up to 280, but the pieces that I can refine, I don't want to refine them. I'd rather wait to get other pieces because I have pieces that are like 13 speed, 12 speed, and they're fine, right? You can get 13 speed goes up to 16, but I'd rather have something that already has innately like 15 and then boost it up to 18. Um, so I'll, I'll wait off on that uh, for now. 270 speed isn't too bad, and then I, I pair her with uh, Mursa. So my other Guild War defense team is Mursa, um, Cerise, and and Charles, uh, which I think is pretty good, right? Because theoretically, S the Charles is there to help uh, deter cleaving, right? Because they can cleave. Charles hits them, and hopefully Mursa dodges um, if they can out if they can even outspeed my Cerise, which we're not like top 20 guild at top 20 guilds your series needs to be 300 to outspeed people really like on defense if you want a defense series to outspeed people you got to have like 300 speed at top 20 guild uh, matches uh, but where we're at 270 280 is pretty good um you're probably not gonna get outsped by a whole lot by like a basar unless they're running like two uh speed imprints uh at the level we're at uh, what i wanted to do originally was to have here, here's uh, here's another idea that defense is the way it is because that's what I have built right now, and those two those two seem to pair very well with Cerise because Cerise S one S threes, then she stuns somebody, uh, and then hopefully Mursa goes at some point, and Charles gets his S three off, which gives everybody attack buff. Um, he's gonna be really slow, but the point is, uh, Cerise can lap people really easily, so uh, she'll S one twice, so she'll S two, S three then S two, and then she'll have S ones basically twice and then s3 comes back again uh the s1 is there to either bring mersa who actually hits pretty hard with an attack buff and the speed buff and the fact that like like mersa can one shot like <laughs> um what's her name fcc's sometimes just like by accident uh with their s3 so bringing the s bringing the uh, mersa to, to hit people is always gonna hit people really hard 
Uh, and then Charles, if he brings the Charles, Charles can still proc his uh, S2 off of his S1 it, off a dual attack, which is ridiculous, right? So that's kind of the idea there is to just be, have Cerise be annoying and, and have the dual attacks come in like just excessive uh, to an excessive amount. The other thing I, sh I could, I was thinking about bringing was bringing, so so the Cerise and the Mursa are basically locked in um, because I need the speed boost from the Mursa no matter what. Um, but the third person, the third one is a flex because it could either be Charles to help de deter uh, Cleaves, it could be Celine which also helps deter Cleaves, and her S one, like getting dual attack with her S one is still valuable because she hits pretty hard, but it's not going to be as valuable as Charles' S one and S two. Uh, unfortunately, the problem is that Cerise is going to want to hit fire people, and if she brings Charles, he's going to basically miss. And, well, you know, the, the meme is Charles never misses on fire disadvantage, but <laughs> he does when he's on defense, and he's on your defense, right? Um, but the idea, that's the idea, is to bring Charles. Uh, or the other person, the other two people I could bring would be uh, Landy, right? So if I have Landy with the stealth, uh, I can S3... Uh, Landy comes in S3, then she S3s, and then everybody has speed boost, which is going to make uh, Cerise just fast to a degree that's not even like it's just ridiculous. Uh, and then it, it also helps alleviate, alleviate um, dealing with people's uh, buffs and all that stuff. And, and just just the, whatever Landy does can help here a lot too, right? Um, and then you know obviously Mercer's going to be there no matter what. Uh, and then the third person I could bring is going to be Silverblade Araminta. Now the reason I'm hesitant to bring Araminta into this is because you have the threat of a what's his name oh that's the other person i forgot to to, to mention the other the 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 one before araminta that i've been thinking about running there in that position is uh what's his name uh, you know his name uh zerato uh zerato with an abyssal crown is actually really good uh my zerato is not built for lifesteal he's built for like damage like he, he's on a crit damage set and he's his only job is to do to hit really hard people want him to survive and then kind of box people out but that's not really what i want i want him to get debuffed counter and then just chunk someone for half their hp and then when his turn comes around he hits them for the other half and they're basically dead uh th that's the idea is to have him there not only is he going to uh provide defense break and then my cerise is going to have defense break because she has the um the misconfile, file which is awesome uh, so now she's gonna have defense break plus the from the de uh, the confile. She's also they're also gonna have defense break from the Zerato, and the Abyssal Crown stuns from the Zerato without having to bring in someone like a stunning, a stunning right, a stunning Asara here, um, which is good because that way you're not throwing any debuffs that aren't being thrown at you, and it kind of de deters. It doesn't deter cleave in that sense. Uh, in that sense, it just deters debuffs. So if like they bring a Zerato, uh, uh, what's his name? They bring a uh, a Basar, then you know you'll have Zerato there to kind of help deter that. Um, oh yeah, just help deter that. Uh, mm. uh, uh, on the other, on on I guess the the further thing is when when Cerise dual attacks and she brings Zerato, well that's pretty good because he's gonna cleave for one, uh, and two he's also element neutral, so no matter who he's hitting with her is gonna be doing a lot of damage. Uh, so that's kind of that. Now, like I said, the third the third or not the third, I think it's like the fourth now. <laughs> The last option that I really, really want to do is have um, Saramintha, Cerise, and um, Mursa. Now, the reason you don't want to do this is because if they bring a Serato, it's kind of a wrap at that point, right? Because Serato's just going to counter. He's not going to get stunned, for one. He's going to counter. He's going to throw the two burns back. Uh, and then people are going to just start dying left and right from, like, these hardcore burns. Um, and that's... A, yeah, not some, yeah, it's just... I mean, there's nothing else to it. It's just that... She's got burns on her S3, she's got burn on her S1, and then she's got burn on the S2. And those are all just going to get thrown back at you because she's going to target the Zerato. But the the reason it doesn't seem so ridiculous to me is because of that Mursa. That Mursa is, is going to hopefully avoid a lot of the, the counterattacks from Zerato. And ultimately, having... Like, if Mursa can just shatter uh, Fallen CCs... I really do feel like she can have a huge impact against Cesarato. Um, because he's nowhere near ever, like, no matter how you build him, he's nowhere near going to be ever as tanky as uh, as Fallen CC. So the fact that I have uh, Silver, like, Silver Blade is obviously going to get baited into Zerato and then just get jobbed because she's kind of stupid, so she's going to burn herself to death. But hopefully Mursa is there to help counteract that and just kill the Cesarato before he becomes too big of a threat. 
is that <laughs> is that going to work out in theory? Probably not. Um, there's too many points of failure for that team to really work. But I also think there's too many points of like successfulness. Like th there's not really any team that can come back from getting stripped by a Cerise and then stunned by a Silver Blade and then just have Mercer go to town on everybody because she's like 200 speed. And this whole thing, this whole thing is going to hinge on a lot of speed. So I'm going to need 220, at least 220 to 230 speed, 220 to 240 speed on Silver Blade. I need about 280 to 290 speed on, um, well, I'm going to say 280 speed on my Cerise. 290 to 300 speed is really outside of the range of this account because I don't, I, I can't whale enough to get that much like quality speed gear. But 280 is a good solid, um, like I'm not at 280 and 280 is a good goal for this account to reach. So that's kind of where I'm going to leave that at. So 280 speed. And then I want my MRSA to be at least like 220 or 210. Like I could, right now I have the gear to make MRSA 210 speed. Um, and, st and like 210 speed, about 3000 attack and like 280 crit damage is what I can make my MRSA, which is excellent. But unfortunately that takes a lot of gear off of my, um, SSB and I, I actually use SSB in like literally everything. So uh, except for defense anymore, which is why I'm really considering taking that gear off of her and putting it onto uh, Mursa. Um, but w we'll see how these things turn out. Unfortunately, the problem is Mursa also only has a plus four speed imprint because I don't have enough. Co I don't have other duplicates of her. Um, but yeah, I mean, 220 speed plus the eight is about 230. If I can get 222 on Silverblade Araminta, she's at 230 speed with the Mursa imprint. And then if I get if I get 282, that's 290 on on Cerise, but I, I that's gonna be kind of hard to push for this account. So I'm I'm shooting for like 270. Right now I can get 272, and then that's 280. Like no like no big deal, right? And that's 280 speed, 230, and then 210. Um, and we're we're solid at that point. Uh, but this is you know one of the things that people don't realize is that your account doesn't just spontaneously grow gear for characters you don't have. And this, I talked about this a little bit in the in the in the Arbiter Vildred, and the Arbiter Vildred one, uh, in the Arbiter Vildred video when I when I summoned him, Arbiter Vildred's great, but a lot of times you don't have the gear to make him great. Like you have gear that matches other people because you've been farming it and you've been like consciously in the front of your mind, you've been thinking about, oh, this good, this piece is good for him, this piece is good for her, this I want this on her, I want this on her. We'll see how it rolls. Um, but now that you, whenever you get a character that character kind of gets pushed to the forefront of your mind in terms of selecting gear and, and thinking about what you're going to upgrade. Um, so that's, so I think now that I have Cerise, now that I have, uh, well, I've always had Cerise. I just never wanted to build her until she got these buffs. Uh, but now that I have Cerise, now that I have Silverblade, um, I think it's time to start like, I think the, the progression of what good gear I have for them was going to start boosting a lot higher. Like right now I can only make them do a certain, like it's like I make them and here that's as far as they go. Right. But now that I have them and now that they're uh, here, I can start like really focusing in and, and, and you know, selecting pieces for them and, and their power is going to increase a lot more. Uh, specifically Cerise, Silverblade Araminta is going to be hard because like all my, like take, take for example, crit critical hit chance. I don't have a whole lot of gear that doesn't have critical hit chance in favor of other pieces. Like almost everything I have that's really good has critical hit chance on there. And you really don't want that. This, this became really clear to me, especially when I was uh, building uh, Charlotte, regular Charlotte, yeah, Fire Charlotte. When I was building her, I realized that like I had no pieces. It's her Charlotte and uh, who's the other one? Uh, C Dom. Charlotte and C Dom need so little. Like Charlotte doesn't need any crit damage. You need to make a, a, as little crit chance as possible. You need to get max crit damage, no crit chance. C Dom, you can work with less, probably around like fifty percent, not even like, like C Dom gains 50 50 percent from her from her s3 right and then on top of that uh she has a s she has an imprint of crit chance self imprint of crit chance so you basically only need like 30 crit chance on her and after that everything else is like taking care of itself right uh, and i tried building them with as much crit damage as possible but no matter what on both of them they always had like way too much crit chance that could have been another stat right um, so I got a 350 C Dom, but then she had like 80% crit chance and it was like, well, this is a waste of stats. This could be something else. So it's one of those things you have to realize that like, you'll start, you'll start selecting gear for a character once you have them. Some people, you know, sometimes you're playing, you're like in the back of your mind, it's like, oh man, look at this piece. This piece would be great if I had an ML can and you just kind of save it. Right. And we, we all, I think we all do that. Right. I, specifically ML can for some reason, the one I will always like, I see a piece and I'm like, oh, that'd be great for him. 
Um, but basically my point is like you, you do that sometimes to some degree, right? But a lot of the times it's not valuable to your account because uh, you need the power now, right? You can't just be like, oh, I'm going to save this piece and I'm going to upgrade it and then, you know, I'll use it later. It's like, no, you need to upgrade it now and move on if it doesn't, if it doesn't roll right uh, or, or whatever, right? What have you. Uh, but this is that's kind of the point is is uh, once you get the character you'll you'll see that there's going to be a lot of um, a lot of gain in power really quickly as you start selecting pieces for them uh, out of your your wyvern hunts and wyvern's coming up so basically Araminta all she needs is hit chance uh, uh, effectiveness sets and speed sets so there you go I'm gonna I'm gonna be grinding that out as fast as possible uh, but yeah so got silver blade Araminta that's awesome uh, I'm really considering feeding unfortunately my regular Araminta right now is six starred and Molded pretty heavily, so uh, there's really I shouldn't do it, but I you know I really want to just put two imprints into her. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, hopefully, I don't do that because it'd be kind of stupid. Um, but I think, and I, I might make a video eventually just talking about Araminta, regular Araminta, and how they might uh, improve her, because uh, I really do have some pretty. I think, I guess, long story short, for regular Araminta, the thing they need to do to improve her is just have her trigger burns the same way that um researcher carrot is a three star that that triggers burns just makes silver uh regular araminta the five star like deluxe version of a burn you know a burn popper right like that'll make her way more valuable just to have the ability to just like like i want the s2 to pop all the burns basically that's what you want the s2 to do um but anyway that's I, we'll talk about how you know more in depth in in, in how i want to you know how I would fix her and, and whatnot, but it's for another. That's for another day. Uh, for now, let's just kind of bask in the glory as we have for the past, like I don't know, what ten minutes, six minutes, uh, looking at Silverblade Araminta. Um, I mean, just look at her. Like, how could you not? It's just, it's awesome. Uh, so she's cool. Uh, hopefully, we don't get anything uh, too crazy next. Uh, next Mystic rotation. I didn't get a shoe, which is fine. Like I said, I didn't regret getting her. I didn't regret not getting her. I still, even now, don't regret not getting her. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, what else? I pulled her, basically, to me, funnily enough, she has the same gear desires that she wants. Um, just effectiveness and speed is basically all it is. Uh, you can have her crit chance and crit damage and all that stuff, but I don't think that's very valuable. I think her paired with, like, like if you had, like, a, a 280 speed, like, 200 uh, effectiveness uh, Tenebria on your Guild War defense team, and then like a what's his name, a Jeep Herg, and then like some other damage dealer in the third position. Uh, Who would be good there? Um, uh, Mercer. I mean, you could just just put Mercer on everything, right? Just she's unkillable. Uh, just someone down there. Like you've got a pretty solid defense because everybody's just going to be hitting that Jeep Herg and letting you know both of these people uh, free fire from the back line. Um, so yeah, I don't know. She's 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 theoretically very good um, in practice. Not a lot of people are going to have the gear to actually, like, make full use of her. This thing's actually pretty interesting. Um, just dealing 15 raw, 1,500 raw damage at max limit break. Right, mine right now is at, like, what, 1,000 damage, I think? And even that 1,000 damage is, like, really helpful. It's, like, pretty surprising how, how hard she's hitting uh, just because of that free damage. Uh, I guess the other thing, Lilibet. Uh, Lilibet, I think, is... She's falling off quite a bit because her thing was killing Arbor Villager without letting him respawn. Uh, but Arbor Villagers are, for one, doing what I'm doing, where it's like they're pairing her him up with like, what's her name? Uh, I'm a blank here. FCC or someone to shield him or Bastion of Perlucia with somebody, or they're just running counter Arby and counter Arby can't get one shot by her easily. I think she might be able to do it given like if she has good enough gear. The attack buff and everything, like, you know, obviously she's going to have attack buff because you're going to run her with, um, with Oxlots. Uh, I think between her and Sigret, I think she can kill uh, a counter RB. There's a higher chance that she can kill a counter RB than, than Sigret, especially because you can soul burn her S3 and get past that um, evasion that he has and then just kill him straight up. Um, so I think she's still better than people give her credit for. I mean, I, I'm kind of arguing for her just because I have her and <laughs> she's built and she that's what she does. Um, but if we're talking about like fighting against top 20 guild, like Arbiter Vildreds that are on counter set now, I'm not sure that's, it's, it's, it's a gamble. Like anything, it's a gamble. 
Um, but I, I do think she can do it better than like a cigarette can. I mean, cigarette certainly can. If she had, if she had, if she could stack up debuffs on him before she hits him with her S three, I mean, it's it's a it's a wrap, right? It's not, no questions asked. But uh, as it stands, it's not really that um, not that guaranteed. Um, I just recently got what's his name? He's a light guy. Oh man, it's gonna be so much fun. Um, <laughs> the two people you need together, right? Let's go look at him. Uh, in terms of cigarette. Uh, I have Cigarette, and I love Cigarette. I use her in everything. Um, I don't... If you guys look at... Um, what's his name? Five Finger Shuffle. He has Cigarette on, like, the biggest pedestal in the entire universe. And I have never seen him use her outside of Wyvern and, like, the occasional fight. Like, she has her on the same level as, like, maybe even higher than, like... Um, like, what's his name? What's that guy? A Tywin, right? But for one, A Tywin, everyone's always banning A Tywin, or he's always in every match. Cigarette comes out like once, maybe. And if you guys have seen his tournaments and other tournaments everywhere else, right? For those of you, for those of us who watch uh, RTA tournaments, Cigarette is like never used ever in anything. And you're telling me that this 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 character is so broken. I don't know. He he's odd. He 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 reminds me of when Shogun wouldn't shut up about how uh, Elf felt it was like the best character ever, and everybody needs to like get good. Um, but yeah, I don't know. That, like I generally agree with a lot of the stuff Shuffle says, and and you know obviously if you're gonna agree with one of us or, or pick a side, I would suggest picking his side because he is you know he does hang out in Legend Arena. He plays against all these Legend players. Um, but I think it, it's odd how like strange he like is about Cigarette. Like Cigarette's good. Don't get me wrong, and she can be great. Um, but in RTA, she does like, no one is running her in RTA. Like no one has ever seen her in RTA in Guild War. Everything works in Guild War. I just want to say that right now. It's like every, no matter what unit you have, it's going to work in Guild War. It, Guild War is not about units. It's about, um, it's about gear. Can you outspeed that Cerise? Can you out damage that, um, what's the name? Can you out damage that, uh, RB? Can you survive that damage from, uh, Riolu? Can you resist the, the thing? Like that, that's all gear requirements in, in Guild War. Like, Anybody works there, so I don't understand what this weird like obsession with her is. And obviously, she's great during Wyvern. I mean, she's the best Wyvern unit. But I mean, that's not a reason to put her over like a Tywin or something like that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's just it's odd. It's odd. Um, but for those of you, I mean, like I said, I can't really say anything to uh, Shuffles considering uh, he's leagues above me, right? And I'm not. I'm not like too proud to admit that. It's just what he says and his actions. And, like, the evidence are vastly in contradiction to each other. Like, no one uses Cigarette in anything. But for some reason, he, he just won't stop claiming that, like, she's, like, the most broken RTA unit as well as everything else. Like, I don't know. Like, to me, if you're making a tier list, like, everything works in everything. Like, there's no Guild War where it's, like... Guild War tier lists are, are different, drastically different than, what's it called, than um, regular tier lists. But, like, still, like, valuing her in Guild War is still weird. Like... Here's an example. What's his name? Uh, Dark Corvus does the same thing she does, where he can just solo an entire team, right, with his S3. But he's like, oh, no, that's all he does. All he do all, all Corvus does is, is just beat a whole team whenever you need to, no matter what, 100% guaranteed. It's like, okay, how is that a bad thing? And why does he need a buff if he can already take on a whole team of three people by himself? Right? That That's kind of, you know... And then Sigrid is over here, you know, oh, she can take out a whole team by herself. It's like, what, what the, but why is Dark Corvus in such a, a poor place? Just because you find him boring. Like it's, it's anyway, it, 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 it it's beyond me. It, it's unfathomable to, to someone at my level. Um, but yeah, so it is what it is. Uh, what else? So those two, like I said, I was going to show you guys something here. Uh, I recently just got uh, maxed. I pulled him and then I already maxed him out and, and everything. I bar actually barely just awoken him either today or yesterday. Uh, but I have this guy. Oh, yeah. Uh, Spec says. Uh, Spec says is probably, if you're looking for the guy who will, uh, and that imprint's not from Spec says, it's an imprint from regular uh, says. If you're looking for a guy who would probably be able to kill, like even at these stats, I mean, look at how crap these stats are. Even at these stats, he could probably one shot a stunned. Um, RB, like, no joke. Oh, I got a new background. I forgot about that. Oh, this lags my thing so much. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for someone, like, my gear is obviously crap. I just kind of threw whatever I had on him. But if you could get, like, 
25 or even 3,000 attack on him, and my, you know, this imprint obviously would be a lot better used on himself. Uh, but I don't have the, the myself, I'm like really poor on silver transmit cells right now, so all of them need to be held on to uh, for Molagora. Uh, but yeah, like this, oh my gosh, this is so dumb. Like this, this could kill an RB without even thinking about it. Now, granted, no one has a Spez, and no one who has Spez hasn't built because he's not really worth building. Um, but yeah, I think. How, like this is uh, this is the spez I use fast tanky um, because he doesn't need that much attack. Like, if you look at, if you go look at the uh, I might make a video on him later and 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 what 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 stats you need to make him viable uh, as a one shotter for specifically RB just because I mean he's got extinction and you know, what else are you gonna do with him? Um, but yeah, I mean you know finally I have Saramintha to go with Spexes and I got them both in like the same month which is kind of funny. Um, it's like they're meant to be together. Uh, but yeah, like obviously you can see here, his gear is utter crap. Uh, this has twenty-one crit. Time. Like this, this is pretty good, I think. Um, nine speed, but that's nine speed after refine, not before refine. So take that as you will. Um, but yeah, I think Spez is gonna be a lot more fun now that I have Sarah. Um, I just need somebody. Probably, I mean, ideally, right? Yeah, I mean, on, on offense, right? You can just go. Uh, Cerise into Sarah into Spez and there you go. They need to have a decent amount of speed within each other So you, you need your max whatever your max speed Cerise is Probably need like a Arby's like fast Arby's right nobody's running like it's a 50 50 right good fast Arby's are 240 these days So you need to make sure Spez and Araminta are both at like 240 or 250. I don't have the gear for that um, But that's the fun thing about these days that everybody's running a counter Arby because they think he's like the bee's knees or whatever um, so basically, you just run Cerise, you remove, strip his buffs, stun him with Silver Blade, and then just kill him with Spez, right? And there you go. He can't he can't revive anymore. Uh, and they they lost because they ran a counter Arby. Um, you know, I don't know. I, I've never valued counter Arby uh, in anything ever. Like he's always just like you could do this, and this is like this is dumb. I don't know why you would do this because you could just run SSB uh, SSB. Crow into him and he just dies like he's not gonna do anything i don't know i i don't value counter rb very much because uh rb never does enough damage without the greater attack buff from his um from the lexus basket uh, at least not to me anyway but maybe i'm just too low level um we're just too low level in our guild uh this is my rb um he does a decent amount of damage and he uh Finally, I, I can boost this. I just need more Molagoras, and he'll have 100%. But it'll be great because paired with uh, Trousers here. Uh, oh, he's, Trousers is actually faster than him. I need to fix this. I need to find more speed for him. Basically, like I said, I want him to be 240, and then Trousers is two, 230, 220. Uh, and he goes after RB. Uh, so that RB, RB starts rotating. Because right now, if Trousers goes first, like RB's like right behind him. So he's just going to go up like 10% CR. So he, you're overcapping on the CR boost. Um, but if I get him to 220 something and then RB at 240, then RB goes and his next turn goes and he's at 10% and he gets boosted by 40. He's already 50% of the way to the, the CR bar. Um, but yeah, well, uh, as I get more imprints, right? 18%, uh, and more gear, right? Better gear. And then more limit breaks on this. We should hit 4,000 pretty easily. Uh, and then, you know, eventually I just got to get better gear. I mean, look at, look at this. This has no speed on it. I need a, in this farming event, I'm going to go farm, get some more gear. And then uh, he should be, like, if I get 10 on this, a 10 speed head. And there you go. I'm already at 230 speed and I'm finally outspeeding my T-Crozet. Um, so, yeah. Uh, don't mind this. I had to give him this because I took a piece off of him for Cerise because he had uh, a piece she needed because I had him all kinds of speed. I mean, this is the only, <laughs> look, at, look at the speed on this. 22 speed and I can't refine it. Can you believe that? Oh my gosh, it's, this looks me in the face every time I log in. Like, uh, it's so sad. Uh, but anyway, uh, enough showing off gear. Uh, but yeah, this is, I don't know, I really believe in like having your Arbiter Vildred and, and keeping him a fast and, and high damage dealy with like someone paired with him to keep him alive. Uh, before it used to be my, uh, what's, his, what's her name? Because giving like... Taking away his speed gives the gives your enemy too much time to set up a way to kill him easily, is my point, right? Why not give him that survivability plus the speed to constantly just, like, make his damage too much to bear? Because right now, 
he you, you make him counter and then you make him slow and then people see that he's slow and they just ignore him hit everybody else around him because they're probably gonna die um and then he just sits there doing nothing because now we have time to set up and de- improperly deal with him which is my problem with them um the thing about like one of the things about this game is that speed the way to make someone not ignore you is with speed um and with arbiter he's too easy to ignore if he doesn't have the speed he doesn't do enough damage even like you know people run oh i'm gonna run the um what's it called the dream blade on him but it's like who cares like i'm just not gonna hit him and i'm gonna let him do his s3 not do any damage because he doesn't have attack buff or greater attack buff um and then you know what what then right like i don't know that's that's the way i see it um of course like i said take probably other people's word if you see that they're higher than i am then you know take their word for it and and go from there and if for those of you who wanted to see what a tank what a what a damage <laughs> a quote damage dealing uh champion zerato is is this what he looks like um obviously he has very low attack because uh this is crit damage this is health and then this is health right because you like for those of you who've never used champion zerato he dies way too easily when you don't give him enough health and yeah i mean there's nothing else to it he just like he needs health he needs defensive stats to be able to consistently do damage and consistently consistently do high damage uh his effectiveness here is kind of low as you can see but that's just because i had him at max imprint and then i traded him in um when they, they did a recall and then i just got one copy back and then i traded for uh, g perg um, which is actually a good choice because i needed g perg it was g perg or t surin and a g perg is a way better choice because at least g perg helps your uh, wyvern um i mean you know he just makes your wyvern 13 possible right um, but he lost all his imprints. I have him as meteor shards. I just don't want to put him in there because uh, then if I get Z- C Serato copies, they're just wasted, right? So I'd rather get the copies and then feed them into him, and so those copies aren't useless. Uh, and then I'll save those for something else. But as you can see here, he's not even have like none of these are ninety gear, and he just like demolishes. Like I bring him into a team, and he just he kills them all without having to worry about um, another damage dealer. He can be my only damage dealer, and you know, I don't know. That, that's, I, I like him the way he is. Uh, I'm gonna take this off of him and probably put him on, um, where is it? Oh, I have it on, I actually have it on her. I'm probably gonna put on him the, the artifact, the new one, the one that came with, um, Fairy Tale Tenebria. Uh, cause uh, obviously he counters a lot, right? So he's gonna counter hit people decently hard, plus a thousand on top of that, or if you max it out, I'm probably gonna max it out, but if you wanted to max it out, it's 1500 extra damage on top of, you know, he's already gonna hit people for decently hard on counter attacks, so... That's kind of I think he's gonna be the best user of that if you want him to be damage dealy. Um of course most of the time uh you're gonna want him to like the stunning is gonna be a lot better because on Guild War, especially on Guild War, you're only hitting two two targets, and the chances of hitting those two targets and stunning them is pretty high, so it is what it is. Um obviously if I you know boosted some pieces, like if I boost this, probably get like four crit damage out of this, so it would be at 308. Uh, and then I boost this and maybe get two, and we're already at 310. Um, and that's 315 and some more. This one doesn't purely crit chance and survivability. Uh, and there's probably crit damage here. Yeah, there's a bit of crit damage. And that's his. This this goes up to 32 attack percentage. It's not a whole lot. He'll probably just hit uh, like 2300, maybe, maybe 24 after I boost this and this. But again, it's not that much, right? Um,. But yeah, like he just has a like you just want to make him tanky and keep him alive with another healer or something like that. I, I generally try to keep him with like um what's her name? Uh Ruel or something like a uh 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 where is she? Uh the girl here somewhere. Her, uh A Momo. Uh, my A Momo's pretty crap and I really need to fix her, but I just don't have the gear right now. Anyway, uh that that was it. Basically we just wanted to look at um Wanted to show that I got my, uh, <laughs> my, what's his name, like, immediately. Uh, of course, they're going to sell you this as soon as you get her, and, and this too, because I'm out of powder. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, hopefully you guys have a great new year, and hopefully you had a, a, a great Christmas, but that's it for today. I'm, you know, super fortunate that I got uh, Sarah and so little pulls. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it really sucks, because I, I actually saw, uh, what's his name, uh, Mango's video, and, uh, 
<laughs> it took a lot of like it took it basically took a spirit bomb to get her right it took his his power it took uh, his community's power it took everybody together uh to finally pull through and and, and get the ceremony them and i i think you could kind of like hate on it because people gave him money for it and like oh you know whatever he, he wailed but he, i mean a, a lot of people who, who don't like whales for one but there's a lot of people who don't like whales who use other people's money right and I, for one i think you can kind of be angry in this situation but i think the fact that like he spent the amount of money that it needs to get that um that pity the first time she came because for those of you remember he actually <laughs> summoned like so much on that banner i wasn't there but uh I saw streams of it afterwards, um, long after, but like he already spent, you know, he, he basically, it's kind of deserved that he should have got her already. Um, and for people to kind of like come together and just kind of help him out and give him that, that was pretty cool. So I'm just, I'm glad I'm, I'm happy for him. Uh, yeah, I mean, I got, you know, it's nothing else to say. I just, I, I know that to some people that's kind of like, they, they really dislike that. And, and, and it kind of, it's almost offensive to them but uh to me you know from my perspective i'm, I'm all right with it uh, but yeah so that's that's it uh, hopefully next time we have another video we'll we'll get into some more interesting stuff and we'll see going into the new year what what kind of um what kind of content i'll be able to make and uh yeah that'll be it happy happy new year and i uh, hope you guys had a great christmas